Hello, in this quick video, I will cover how to use Fermi's data process shape to process multi-platform data. In, in this example, we'll cover map multi-platform data, MIME to JSON, specifically this functionality. So to get started, we need uh, Fermi's web services server connector and our, our runtime that can be accessed publicly. So I'll start building the artifacts here. So I'll create a folder, I'll call it 01 LCIM demo. And in this folder, I will start by creating a new component. The type of the component will be a document cache. And I will name it MIME cache. You can name it anything you want. It will not have any profile, and I'll add an index. Index could be data, it could be file, it could be anything. I'll add a key, um, property key, which will be of type mime property. And the first value will be name. And we'll press OK, and we'll do the same thing again. And in the second part, we'll add the mime document itself, and we'll do the same. So once this cache is ready, we will save and close it. The next part here is we will actually build a new component. Now this will be a process and this will be the main process where we will use web services server connector. And we'll just create a new operation, get data, and it will be type create. We'll give a value for the object. We can call it data. And expected input will be multi-part form data. And expected output type, we will have a single JSON object. And in the attachment cache, we will select our cache that we created. So we'll press save and close. And we'll press OK here. We can rename the process post request for form data. So in the next step, we will add um, data process shape, configure it, and this will be map multi-platform data mine to JSON. And in here, we will have the document cache in our mine cache. And we'll add a branch here. So in the first step, we'll just add return documents. And in the second branch, we'll add set properties shape and we'll configure it. And in the set properties shape, the first value will be whatever the type of connector we are using. So for example, in this case, we'll use disk connector. So I'll just select disk connector and the property will be file name. So this will be taken from the MIME property. We'll go to document properties again. We'll select MIME property and we'll use the MIME name. So that would be the name that will be set for the disk connector and we'll press okay here. And in the next step, we can basically add our connector. So remember to choose the exact connector that you use in the previous shape for setting the properties. So this will be a new connection. And let's say disk connection and the directory will be work. So it will save everything within the Boomi's work directory. So that's our operation ready, um, sorry, action ready. And now we'll set the operation. So we can just leave it as it is, press save and close. Uh, should be send, sorry, that was my mistake. Work. Send. So 
after this, we can just put a stop shape and our process is now ready. So we can say save and close here. The next step will be to create an API. So within the same folder, we'll create a new component. And this time it will be of type API service. We'll press create or we'll call it my form data API and publish a title form data version. You can name it whatever you want. Start with version 1.0 as a good practice for the first version. So we'll call it form data. And now we'll link the rest endpoint. So here we have multiple ways we can link it. So I'll just, either option works. So I'll just say manual selection, add endpoint. Here I'll select the process that we have created just now. And we'll press OK here. So now our endpoint is also ready and we can see the part that we could use to call our post request. So I'll press save and close here. So our API and everything is ready with the process. So at this point I can deploy this and do a test. So I'll say create package component. I'll select the API together with the process Press next, can give the motion, deploy it. And, and now I'll choose the runtime. I'll use the molecule prod AI version, which is my local Kubernetes environment running in Azure. So there we go. And now this is deployed. Just a quick check that we can see the listener active now. So we go and check the listeners here. So the listener is there. There's an API and the post request. Let's go ahead and test it with Postman. So this is the load balancer endpoint. It's now ready with our post request. We'll change it to post and in the body, we'll select form data. So it can have basically any type of attachment fields, any number of fields, and we can press send. So now the request is being triggered and you could see that this is processed successfully. We can also see the same thing being received on Boomi and with the same and our data is now saved in our work directory. So this takes a minute or so for, for it to load. So we can just confirm that this populates the required data. Okay, so now we have the full data here. And it has loaded. So you could see that our uh, file has been saved in the work directory. And that was the actual document that came in. So um, be sure to check out the, the data process shape. And also there is an article on it, which is uh, how to use web services, server connector and form data form data, web services, server, Boomi. We should get the first hit. How can we process multi-part form data? So this is the end of this video. I hope you like it and I look forward to any feedback on this. Thank you.